everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day two of our daily conversation, and it's called a visit to the dentist. Some professional advice, and the vocabulary words are. Professional. Professional. We run this business in a professional manner. Yes, we do.、Mm -hmm. Procedure. Procedure. The procedure is simple and won't require a stay in the hospital.、Mm -hmm. Nerve. Nerve. The tips of your fingers are so sensitive because they're rich with nerves. Occasionally. Occasionally. I eat sweets only occasionally. <gasps> Okay, that's pretty good for your teeth. Then you eat them a lot. I know. I <laughs> like sweets. Sweets are good. I know. Sweets but are I, sweets. But I brush my teeth. Good. That's you know? that's really important. So, speaking of brushing your teeth, have you had a lot of cavities or ever had to get a root canal or a tooth pulled? Well, I have my wisdom teeth、oh. pulled out, but that's not cavities.、Mm. Maybe one or two、wow. my whole life. So you do really good, or you have really strong teeth. How about you? Have you had anything major like dental work I've done? I've had so many cavities, teeth pulled out, root canal, yeah,、Seriously? all kinds of dental issues. Yeah,、What? ever so, since I was a kid. So is it because you didn't brush often? I、you、do. I, take care actually, I've、teeth? always had good brushing habits. I、mm. brush at least three times a day, and、mm -hmm. especially in my adult life, I don't eat many sweets. But、okay. I think I just have soft. Teeth or something, I don't know. But my parents both had a lot of dental issues too. Oh, really? Okay. But what can you do though to make sure that you don't have to see the dentist? Well, what's your secret? I think. Well, for me, I just brush my teeth on a regular basis, and I sometimes floss as well. I heard、yeah. flossing your teeth is actually very good for your teeth. So you know. Yeah. So it's just the normal advice that I think everybody knows: brush your teeth often, floss. Yeah.、Right? Don't eat too much sweets. That's true. Okay.、Yeah. All right. So just be careful. Okay. <laughs> And take care of your teeth. Okay. Enjoy、right. today's lesson. Enjoy. The dentist has performed the procedure and is now giving Chris some advice about how to take better care of his teeth. We really had no choice but to take the tooth out. It was completely rotten and there was damage to the nerve. I didn't realize it was so bad. I thought it was just a small hole that would only need a filling. You really need to take better care of your teeth, Mr. Jones. You can say that again. Where am I going wrong? Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today is day two of this month's daily conversation. Yay! And yes, this is day two、mm -hmm. at the dentist's office. Yay! Yes, this month's daily conversation is all about going to the dentist. It's all about a visit to the dentist. Hi, everyone. I'm Jeff. Color me excited. Oh, I can tell you're dentistry. Yeah. Woo. Great. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, no. No. Just stop it. But it's、okay. not. Luckily, it's not us who's going to the dentist. We aren't going there today. We sh probably should, but we aren't. It's Chris. Chris is the guy who yesterday we met as he was calling up the dentist to make an appointment. He's got a problem with his molar. Some of those big chomping teeth at the back of your head. He thinks he's got a cavity, a hole. He's feeling pain. He wanted to make an appointment. He wasn't free that day. Day, so he made the appointment for the next morning, and so that's about it. We're caught up. Let's check out part two. When we assume Chris will be in the dentist chair, getting his treatment, getting his teeth fixed, but it says part two: some professional advice. That's、yeah. the title we have for you today. Advice、yeah. is when someone tells you, you know, information that's useful, wise information, good suggestions. And if it comes from a person who it's their job to know this stuff, you could call that advice professional. Advice. This adjective basically means to a high standard or in a business-like way. When it's the person's job, they're a professional, and when they tell you what they think you should do, that advice is professional advice. If you're getting your teeth fixed, get professional advice from a dentist, but don't get professional advice from a pilot because they only know about flying planes. Yeah. If you're going to get advice on teeth. Get that advice from a dental professional, or get professional advice on teeth 
from a dentist. That's anyways. right. And any sorry, I should do the example sentence sure. because any business is, or it should be run to a high standard. So that's another way we use professional. Like in the sentence, we run this business in a professional manner, in a very business-like, business-like and organized, high standard kind of way. All right, let's get to our descriptor sentence. Let's What's talk going on? Let's talk about our dental is, professional. Is, is Chris screaming yet? Not yet. And one note, notice oh. when I say dental professional, the word uh. professional mm -hmm. is a noun, uh. whereas in the title here, it's mm -hmm. being used as an adjective. Anyways. So someone who does that job is a professional. Yes, ma'am. Yes, All sir. Right. Anyways, yes, the dentist has performed the procedure uh -huh. and is now giving Chris oh. some advice Oh. about how to take better care of his teeth. So it's over. The pain is over. The screaming is over. Good. The procedure is over. Great. Yes. Chris underwent a dental procedure. Huh. Here, a procedure is kind of like an operation. Yeah. Okay, that's all there is to it. A dental procedure is like minor surgery. Anyways, otherwise, a procedure is a well-known way to do something. Dentists know how to put fillings into your teeth, okay? Dental procedures dealing with fillings are pretty well known and pretty easy to understand. It's a simple it's, procedure. It's a simple procedure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dentistry is not tough. For example, the procedure is simple mm. and won't require a stay in the hospital. Chris won't have to go to the hospital after getting a filling. No. No. In and out in an hour fun. or so. All right, so the dentist tells Chris what the problem was and also how to sort of avoid things in the future. This is the professional advice he's getting. The dentist says, we really had no choice but to take the tooth out. He did get an extraction. Wow, they pulled the whole tooth out. I've never had that done, but mm. that's got to hurt. But of course, they freeze your face. But still, often they just fill it with something, a filling, that's called. But here, they took it out. Why? It was completely rotten and there was damage to the nerve. Wow, Chris really should have seen a dentist earlier. So the teeth was rotten, it was falling apart, it wasn't worth saving, and not only that, there was damage to the nerve in his jaw, and that's even more serious. A nerve is a part of our body. It's a noun, of course. We have nerves all over our body, thousands, millions of them. They're the things that send messages up to our brain when you touch things, when you feel cold, pain, heat, things like that. This information is sent through your nerves. And so when you have pain and you're, when you're biting and chewing, that you know it because the nerves send that message, ouch, up to your brain. For example, the tips of your fingers are so sensitive because they're rich with nerves. I think your back has very few nerves, right? Mm. The middle of your back. But your fingers, your lips, your face, we got lots of nerves. So you yeah, feel, plenty of nerves. Feel things. In places that feel things, that are, that are needed to feel things or use your sensory capacity to feel things, I should say. Anyways, Chris says, I didn't realize it was so bad. I didn't know you are going to have to take out my whole tooth. I thought it was just a small hole that would only need a filling. Mm, no, and the dentist says, you really need to take better care of your teeth, Mr. Jones. Yeah, and Chris says, you can say that again. Where am I going wrong? Hmm. Where's he going wrong? Well, I don't know, but we're going to have to take a break before we find out. Hmm. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。同学们会讨厌看牙医吗？当你一听到牙医手上那些器具的声音时，是不是就想逃走呢？我们对话里面的主角 Chris， 他因为臼齿在痛，所以不得不赶快看诊。好，那今天的小标题是 Some Professional Advice， 一些专业建议。电话里面的牙医他已经做完疗程，现在再给 Chris 一些牙齿保健的建议。先来看两个单字 ，professional，professional， professional, 它是形容专业的或是职业的。那么 procedure，procedure procedure, 它表示疗程或是程序。我们可以用 perform a procedure 或者是 perform the procedure 来表达做疗程。顺便补充一下 j e f f 老师在开场白的时候有提到 dentistry。D E N T I S T R Y, dentistry 表示牙科。好，那在对话一开始啊，牙医说 Chris 那颗牙齿完全蛀光了，已经伤到神经了，所以不得不拔牙。Chris 本来以为只需要补个小洞而已，没想到情况这么糟。那牙医接着就叮咛他要好好保护牙齿。Chris 也同意他的看法，他想知道说自己平常牙齿保健哪里没有做好。
好，文中 Chris 有说到 ，You can say that again， 就表示你说的一点也没错。当我们要附和对方的意见啊，表达同意的时候，你就可以说这句话 ：You can say that again. 好，这边还有一个单词 nerve. Nerve 是当名词，表示神经。那么文中的 rotten, r o t t e n, rotten， 它是形容坏掉的或是烂掉的。再顺便补充一下，你要表达拔牙，其实可以用动词 extract 这个字。Extract 表示拔出来、抽出来。那它的名词是 extraction。Extraction 就表示拔出、取出。接回到课文中。Well, for one thing, do you floss? Occasionally. Well, okay, not very often. You should floss as part of your daily routine. Do it before brushing and after meals if you feel there's food stuck between your teeth. Got it. You might also consider using these. They're called floss picks. People often find it easier to floss with these, and they're just as effective as regular floss. Okay, I'll give them a shot. Speaking of shots, that one you gave me seems to be wearing off a bit. Don't worry, I'm prescribing you painkillers for that. But in any case, the pain should go away in a couple of days. Thank you, doctor. All right, now it's time for Chris to get some dental advice from a、yeah. dental professional. Next, the dentist says, "Well, for one thing, do you floss? Because you need to floss if you want to keep all of your teeth." All right, floss. We can use it both as a verb and a noun. Yeah, it's that kind of waxy string that you use to get in between the teeth. A lot of people don't do it. You really should. So does Chris floss? He says occasionally. Well, that's good. And then he says, "Well, okay, not very often." That's、mm. not, that's not good.、Yeah. You should floss、yeah. that's every day. That's right. If you do something occasionally, you do it、eh, every once in a while. You do it sometimes, but you do not do it on a regular basis.、No. Okay, you don't do it frequently. Okay.、No. For example, I eat sweets only occasionally. Which is a good thing. You only eat、mm-hmm. sweets every once in a while. You don't eat them all the time. But flossing, you should do that every day. It should be part of your daily routine. That's right. Maybe not as often as you brush, not two or three times a day, but at least once a day. That would be wise. As the dentist tells Chris, you should floss as part of your daily. Routine your regular daily activities. Do it before brushing and after meals if you feel there's food stuck between your teeth. Now、oh, that's a very good point. If you feel that piece of apple stuck there, do、yeah. floss that. Get rid of it. You don't want to leave it there for six hours until you、mm. brush later that night. Now Chris listens intently to the dentist、mm-hmm. and then says, "Got it." He says, "Got it." To say, "Yeah, I understand." Okay, all right. Here's another bit of advice. The dentist says you might also consider using these. Using what? Well, the dentist shows him a pack of floss picks and picks one up. Ah, those are the things. They look like little tennis rackets or、mm. whatever, right? It's kind of like a a C shaped thing, and there's the floss right there. So it's very easy to use, and you can buy them in packs of a hundred. They're called floss picks. People often find it easier to floss with these, and they're just as effective as regular floss. They're good. I sometimes worry about the plastic because you are throwing、yeah. away a lot of plastic when you use them. But they're good to have in your bag or keep in your desk at work. They're、mm. convenient. Okay. Further, Chris says, "Okay,、mm-hmm. I'll give them a shot."、Mm-hmm. Then he says, "Speaking of shots."、Mm-hmm. The one you gave me seems、uh, to be wearing off a bit. Yes, the, kind of yeah, the、uh, dentist uh, gave uh, Chris a shot、uh, to numb that bad tooth, and then the dentist pulled out that tooth, and now that numbing shot is wearing off.、Mm. And yeah, that's when the pain is going to start for poor Chris. That's going to hurt a little bit after having a tooth pulled out of his face. But the dentist says, "Don't worry, don't worry. I'm prescribing you painkillers for that. But in any case, the pain should go away in a couple of days. But he will get some medicine. He will get some painkillers. The doctor is going to write him a prescription or give an order that he can take, basically, to a drugstore, a pharmacy, 
to get the medicine he needs so that it doesn't hurt too much. Don't eat any ice cream or hot things. You know, stay away from hard, crunchy things for a few days, and you should be fine. Is Chris happy? Chris, eh, he's as happy as he can be given the situation. He says, oh, thank you, doctor. Mm. Okay, folks, with that, our daily conversation for this month is now complete, and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Don't forget to, oh, don't forget to floss, and bye. 牙医叮咛 Chris 要好好保护牙齿。他就问 Chris 平常有没有用牙线清洁牙齿的习惯呢 ？Chris 本来他是说偶尔，那后来又很老实的说啊，他没有常常在用。那牙医就建议他应该要把使用牙线当做每天的例行公事，除了在刷牙之前使用，那如果饭后你觉得有食物卡在牙缝里面，也要使用。他还建议 Chris 可以考虑用牙线棒。有一些人觉得用牙线棒来清洁牙齿是比较容易、比较方便的。Chris 就说他会试试看，可是啊，他现在拔牙的地方可能开始疼痛了，因为他对医生说他打的针药效好像慢慢退掉了。医生就说他会再开止痛药给他，几天后就不会再痛了。好，先来看看单字 ，occasionally，occasionally， Occasionally, 它是副词，表示偶尔。那 Jeff 老师在解释单字时，他提到两个片语。Every once in a while, 也可以说 once in a while 表示有时偶尔。那么 on a regular basis, on a regular basis 则是指经常的、规律的。它的意思就跟 frequently 很相近。Frequently 也可以用来表达经常的、频繁的，是当副词来用。好，我们最后再补充几个单词 ：floss, floss。它可以当名词或当动词，当名词就是牙线，当动词就是牙线清洁，用牙线来清洁。Floss pick, floss pick 就表示牙线棒。好，我们再来看 prescribe 这个动词。prescribe 它表示开药或是开处方的那个动作，也就是开这个动作。那它的名词是 prescription, prescription 表示处方签或者是药方。至于 painkiller。Painkiller， 这是指止痛药。好了，那么以上是这个讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦<音樂>。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。第一个是句型 ，Have no choice but to， 加上原形动词。第二个是片语 ，Give something a shot。第三个是句型 ，speaking of 加上名词或动名词。第四个是片语 ，in any case。首先，我们来学习句型 ，have no choice but to 加上原形动词，这表示不得不做某事，除了什么什么之外，别无其他选择。那 choice 在这里是当不可数名词，表示选择权或者是选择的可能性。例如。They had no choice but to cancel their vacation plans. 他们不得不取消度假计划。接下来，我们来学习片语 give something a shot。这表示尝试某事物。Shot 在这边是当名词，是指尝试。例如 ，After asking his parents for advice on starting a business, he decided to give it a shot. 在询问父母关于创业的建议后，他决定尝试看看。接着，我们来学习句型 speaking of 加上名词或动名词。speaking of 是片语介系词，它表示讲到什么或是说到什么，后面可以接名词或动名词。例如 ，speaking of swimming， have you ever tried snorkeling？ 哎，说到游泳，你有尝试过浮潜吗？最后，我们来学习片语 in any case， 这表示无论如何，不管怎么样。例如。I'm not sure how long the meeting will take, but I'll call you tonight in any case. 我不确定这场会议会开多久哎，但不管怎么样，我今天晚上还是会打电话给你的。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye. <音樂>欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》英文，我是悠悠，我是季安。今天要跟大家分享关心对方跟给建议的说法，尤其对方看起来不太开心、不太对劲的时候，你就说：“一切<咳>还好吗？你怎么了 ？”Is everything okay? Are things good with you? 谁都没我的。Is everything okay? Are things Are things good with you? 
What's the matter? What's the matter? 对，我考试考砸了，或者是我跟我男友吵架了。嗯，考试考砸了。嗯 ，I failed my exam. I failed my exam. 跟男朋友吵架。I had a fight with my boyfriend. I had a fight with my boyfriend. 有时候我们不是只是听抱怨，我们可以进一步的关心。呃，有什么事情我可以做的吗 ？How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? 而且讲这句话的时候呢，不能笑，才是关心对方嘛。How can I help you? <笑>你还好吧？<笑>你可以给我一些建议吗？那就看要给对方什么建议，对不对？哈，就可以给我一些建议吗、嗯、？Can you give me some advice on 某个东西什麼什麼、嗯、？Can you give me some advice on 什么什么东西？所、嗯、以 give advice on 某个东西。Give advice on 某个东西、嗯。那如果是你主动要给人家建议的话。Okay. 就鸡婆一下嘛。对。Maybe I can give you some advice. Maybe I can give you some advice. 嗯，哎、嗯，我可以给你一些建议嘛，对不对？给你一些建议。嗯哼，对。好，所以你人家会问说 ，Can you give me some advice on how to prepare for the test? Can you give me some advice on how to prepare for the test? 嗯，或者 Can you give me some advice on exam preparation? Can you give me some advice on exam preparation? 嗯哼。哦、oh,。这个简单，我建议你可以勤做笔记，然后考前要加复习， mm-hmm. 对不对？ I, 加一场复习。Yeah， 你可以说 I suggest that you take notes in class and then review them before you take the exam. I suggest that you take notes in class and then review them before you take the exam.、Mm-hmm. 对,对，那我们建议某个人去做某件事情，我们说、mm-hmm. I suggest that you 后面加动词原形。I suggest that you do something. So something. I suggest that you exercise twice a week to stay healthy. Oh,、mm, good! I suggest you exercise twice a week to stay healthy. Ah, Jenny, one week can exercise twice a week to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm-hmm. So you say, "Yo, I suggest you exercise twice a week." Darren, let me to stay healthy. Healthy, you have a healthy voice. Can you give me advice? On my voice. We're gonna look at today's life action. Is everything okay? You look down. 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 I suggest that you take notes in class and then review them before you take the exam. Thanks for the advice.